A Cup of Joe and Nintendo is powered by the You, Me, and Capri Patreon. We want to say thank you to some people starting with our Diamond Executive Producers, Slimer Snarf, Lee Navarro, and Jonathan Brown. Also, our Platinum Producer, Robbie Bobby Miller. And then to our Gold Level Patrons like James Johnson, Gene K, Skinny Matt, Ashley Nicholson, Aaron Gropper, Trucker Sloth, Argo, Ryan Turford, Egg Shen, and Sony for Life. Thank you everyone for all of your support. Uh, Sean, I gotta tell you, I was very, very uh, let down by yeah. the whole Treehouse Live. Okay, I'm glad you started on this note because um, I was just a little bit worried that I expressed that I'm I'm a week without caffeine, mm. and um, we've had we've had chats in the past where I haven't had my coffee yet, and they haven't gone so well because uh, I'm a bit of a grouchy pants sometimes. But I'm glad that you started on this note because now it's not just me. I, on on the caffeine front. Well, I'm, I'm I'm having caffeine. What are you talking about? I'm just saying that it's not just me being grouchy because okay. of the caffeine. Uh, okay, okay. We can be grouchy together about. I'm this. not gonna be grouchy. I'm not gonna be grouchy about it. I'm just saying I, I wasn't happy about I'm not it. Grouchy about it. I, I, mean, I just started a conversation. See, I knew this. Go drink some <laughs> coffee, man, because this is gonna be a thing. Um, no, my thing is, is I I feel like I don't know, man. I I just felt like it was weak. I felt like. Which- which part? The Paper Mario part or the, the Bakugan? Both. Which is the thing I've never actually heard of, I have to admit. Both. Both. Yeah. Like, the thing is, it's like, I, first off, I think that people just mistakenly hyped the way forward part. Sure. Yeah. That part, I think people, and I think that was where the letdown was, mm-hmm. was Nintendo said they're working on way forward, and it just went wrong, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Did it go straight to Metroid? Was that just in my feed, or did was that pretty prevalent? Everybody was just like, I don't know, man. I, it's like the minute somebody says, like, hey, a new company is working with Nintendo, they mm-hmm. immediately think, like, oh, it's a brand new franchise, or it's a brand new... They're, they're working on an old franchise and bringing it in, and, and maybe that's what Nintendo led it to believe, but, like... I've never heard of this I, game, and this I mean, game, I, to me, looks yeah. like a, it, it looks like a Pokemon ripoff. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not even a good one. It's not even that good, you know. Like, I don't mm-hmm. know. But, it, but it's funny. Like, what would they? What should they have said? It's not like they said anything inaccurate, right? Because I'm on. Two, I'm of two minds of this too. Because I was definitely let down. I kind of like. I knew it was. I knew Treehouse was happening. I immediately thought of you because we just talked about yeah. Treehouse not too long ago. So that was great. Um, but then this was the announcement. This was the reveal, and I'm like, I kind of kept scrolling through my timeline, like looking for the way forward game. Like, yeah. surely that wasn't it. I saw the screenshot. Saw the yeah. back again. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know what that is. That doesn't seem to, like, ring any bells for me. So, like, maybe there was another announcement that referred to this. Nothing. But it, and it was wasn't answer. it. That was it. That was the one. The other thing, so, too, is the other thing too is this. Man, I just – you got multi-million dollar companies. Can, can somebody, somebody – and this goes – I'm sorry. This might be whatever – but can somebody sit down with somebody and show them how to use a webcam and a microphone and make it not sound so damn echoey? Like, can someone do mic checks and, and check this stuff out? Like, you know who got... can? Did you did you watch Devolver Digital? No, I didn't. I didn't see oh that. my god, dude! It's you got to sit down and watch it. It is it's excellent. But yeah. we'll talk about that another time. That that like they put Xbox and Sony to shame. Like they put on like a full on production. It was incredible. I, I I just think that like it's, you know. I don't know, man. I, I I feel like when you're sitting there and you're and you're webcaming and like no thought whatever whatsoever. Like you work yeah. for Nintendo, you can't like you don't have no Mario stuff behind you, no nothing. Like just uh, I don't know. I, I Sorry, don't know. Bobby. No, it's just weird. And and mm-hmm. to me, it's like, but not just that. It's like it's so it's all echoey and real weird. And it's like. My God, like somebody, can you not use the microphone from your laptop? Mm -hmm. Like, dude, 50 bucks. Like somebody send equipment out to somebody's house and make it happen. Like what is even happening? It's clear that like that because we haven't got any directs or anything since this whole Corona thing has happened. Like we, 
they really have been taken aback by this. Yeah. Like it really like that the, the backup option was Treehouse for this long. And it took them that long to kind of get that sorted out. I mean, you maybe that's I mean? me being a snob. I, I don't know. I mean, that you know. No, I think I think we can I think we can respectfully demand a little bit more out yeah. of that that quality. It's not it's not impossible. Like where the the era is upon us, where there are millions, if not billions, of videos yeah. that are high quality, high produced, and a lot of people working like not for Nintendo, but doing Nintendo content around the clock. I mean, how hard really, is it? To, really well. How hard is it to call like Miss Click or? Call Roger yeah. or call one of your ambassadors even, and go, or even just watch them. Yeah, just see, or say, like that's say, kind of the standard. Say, hey, listen, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna hire you for the day to mm -hmm. show this game off. We're gonna we're gonna put someone from Treehouse in with you. What do they need? Or not even if you don't even want to hire them, that's fine. But like, hire them as a consultant to go. What like equipment do I need? <laughs> like I said, there are there are hundreds of videos to go. Like, how do you even get the stream set up? Yeah. Right? Well, what did you think of what did you think of the game though? So the other thing, everybody's pissy that there's no XP in it. I, that I don't. I you know like I honestly I'll be I, I God's honest truth. I got about three minutes in. Yeah, and I was like I don't want to see this. I was that's I was gonna ask you about it because I know we were talking about like bring Treehouse back like you and it's incredible because that was the original thing that yeah. Nintendo did and it seems to be that's the thing that should survive this whole situation yeah. is like just throw up a Treehouse if you can't pull together. A direct like that's something that you should be able to do and I you're, I you're right I think it was a little bit a little bit flat um I mean how hard yeah. how hard I, maybe I'm maybe just confused how hard would it have been to I mean NASA did it for Pete's sake like yeah. you can't bring your employees into the studio and, and and social distance keep them away from each other and just do a proper within your studio do a proper thing it's like that boggled my mind a little bit but, but that's uh, i'm getting i'm very really nitpicking the whole thing my mm -hmm. my problem is is this um i you know like i wanted to see gameplay footage of games like but i was when when they said treehouse live i don't believe the treehouse live should be one game yeah like get people hyped like Show off. That's all they've got, though, right now. Apparently and so, and that's a scary in. thing. That's what I was worried about coming into today without any caffeine, because everybody's going to say that I'm grouchy. But it's like, um, they that's the last confirmed game. Yeah. And they're like, okay, well, they're coming up to you, uh, Treehouse Live for Paper Mario, which comes out on the 17th, which is in five days as we record this. And after that, there is no confirmed date. So we must, we have to announce something, and it's the Way Forward game. And it's like, that's how you extend your release schedule here it's looking like i feel dicey and i yeah. just finished xenoblade which is which was awesome yeah and i hope to talk to gear bland about it very very soon but i'm like i'm not really sure like really what else which i'm not panicked about but it's kind of like no i am in chat i really, am i am it's kind of like what else is there because you know what no, I, I will not panic because i got other things that well, I can play. You, you, you play other you play other consoles and that's fine right. but as a nintendo like as a nintendo fan this has to be worrisome like yep, the only definitely. thing you have is Animal Crossing, and don't get yep. me wrong, don't get me wrong, Paper Mario I think needed to be something. You know what I mean? Like they needed mm. to show it off to some degree. I just felt like, why are you showing the opening sequence and all the stuff? And like, don't don't show the like that's. I mean, as weird as it sounds, it's quasi spoilers. Like I just wanted to experience it myself for the first sure. time. Like. Just jump into the gameplay. Explain the I gameplay. Feel like Show that's, it off. That's Treehouse. Yeah. I always feel like that's Treehouse. That's the like going on the Great Plateau. Yeah, whatever. that's true. Like, that, I, I that's guess kind that's, of, that's true. just gameplay. Yeah, that might be but, just me being nitpicky. I but that but that, that was the thing. So when that started playing, I was like, I know I'm getting this game. I don't want to see this. Yeah. So I backed yeah. away and yeah. let it go. You know, I just felt like. Show me mechanics. Show me how to game plays. The I fighting, was, the was fighting the combat was real weird. I like it, man. With I thought the, it was with really the cool. the Rolodex thing? I like <laughs> the Rolodex. I don't know, man. Yeah, I like it. I well, it's because it's cool because it was like different based on like your various attacks. Like you want to align line up the, the enemies differently. Like if you're just gonna do the jump thing, you get them all in a row, and he jumps across. Yeah. You pull out a hammer, you go like two by two. And he does like a like an area damage kind of thing. I thought it was really cool, man. I think he's gonna break some brains out there, because it looked a little bit tricky to try and get like I just this, like, dude, this circle. The the problem with me is, and maybe I'm maybe I'm in the in, in the wrong boat. I don't know. When I heard Return to Form, yeah, I thought we were going back to Thousand Year Door. Yeah, you go back to your best game. Return to Form to me means there's no gimmicks. 
it's mm -hmm. a it's a proper RPG. Well, that's why everybody's upset about the XP thing. And I was I think it was on Nintendo Shack. They're saying like they I don't think it was actually Nintendo that said we're going back to form. I think that was like somebody describing. I think it was when the, the leaks were happening was like there's a new Paper Mario coming out and it's going back to form. Like, I'm not sure that there was anything in their official announcer or whatever. I don't know. That said this is going back to like that doesn't even sound like anything. That, it sounds like something Metallica would say. Like, we're going to make an album you like from back in the 80s. I don't know. It maybe that was all i all i know is i just are you still getting it are you still getting it day one now it's that's tough. where i'm at now that's it's, where i'm now, at too. it's, now like, it's questionable man it, it feels like they do and i think that it's working it feels like they do this thing where you get one option right whereas the, when the switch first came out they had to like give you whole, the whole roadmap you knew there was a game yeah. coming out every but now you're buying it anyway so like we'll give you one game at a time because you'll buy it because you don't know what's coming out next that's so you'll play well, and you don't you don't know if you'll have anything to play. I mean, for me, I'm still in Animal Crossing land. Sure. And, and, yeah. and I'm looking for the game that pulls me away from Animal Crossing. And mm. this ain't it. Yeah. You know, like, Xenoblade will eventually pull me away because that I want to get into it. And, and mm -hmm. I will. But I know you that. You should. The, you should. Well, do it, man. Yeah, the thing now is, is I don't, for... don't want to stop. Sure. It's not a good time for me right now because, <laughs> because I'm literally, like, I'm still working and stuff. So my time is valuable. And mm -hmm. I got I want to spend it on Animal Crossing, but probably in December, you know, yeah. when I thought the game was going to come out, that's when I'll jump on board and play it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, especially this winter, I'm, I'm planning on taking two weeks off in a row. I'm just going to take a two week vacation. Oh my god! So yeah, I'm just going to like I'll have time to dive in then. Mm -hmm. Probably not. I'll probably be streaming the whole time. <laughs> I know. Content like, like an idiot. There's going to be. There's actually going to be games. Like that's the thing. That's where I kind of get a little bit balanced out on this whole. Like, should I be mad or upset or whatever? Worried about as a Nintendo fan. Like, there will be things. I have no doubt that there will be things. But at the moment, like, it's just kind of like there's. I don't know what those are. So I'm trying to like kind of make the best of it with like with my backlog. I haven't played uh, Luigi's Mansion. I never actually finished Astral Chain, and like some of those other games. And it's not like there's other indie games and non Nintendo games that, that come out. There's carry on coming from, from Devolver Digital, which is so not your style of game. It's not even funny. Yeah. We play like this giant monster that like eats everything around you and you grow as you eat more, you grow more and you crawl through this, like, um, I don't know, the sci-fi dungeon kind of space. Yeah. It looks so good, but so far from what you want, but that's coming out on, like July 23rd. I think I, uh, I did a, uh, I did a review for the Nintendo dads. Oh, story, right. what game was it? Story of Seasons. Okay. So Story of Seasons is actually the Harvest Moon franchise. Mm hmm And when I got asked to do it, I really wasn't... I mean, like, I was paying attention to what Justin was saying to me, and I, I looked at the game, and I was like, oh, okay, kind of like Animal Crossing. Yeah. And I went in with the wrong mindset. Mm -hmm. And I went in thinking Animal Crossing, and then I was like, I hate this game. I can't get yeah. into it, right? Yeah. It's annoying. Like, what, mm -hmm. what's going on here, right? And I, I put it down... And then Justin comes in and is like, hey, how are you making out the review? And I'm like, dude, I'm not having fun at all. Like, mm -hmm. I, I hate this game. I yeah. can't figure out. I can't figure nothing out. Yeah. I can't figure out what I'm doing. Anything, right? I took, I took a step <laughs> back, did a little research on the game. Yeah. And was like, oh, my God, I'm doing this thing completely wrong like an idiot. So I go back. And it's more, it's it's less Animal Crossing, a lot of Stardew Valley, a lot of Harvest it's Moon. It's actual farming. Yeah, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm dude, I the game is awesome. Oh I, no way! I'm I'm of the mindset it's better than Stardew Valley. Damn. Like first off, like the graphics, amazing. Mm -hmm. Like Gorgeous. not not yeah. amazing. They're real. They're very pretty. You know I love mean? the style of it though. The style, the, it's it's very like anime esque type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I love it, man. And and the thing is, is like. This is a team against Stardew Valley that's one guy. And mm -hmm. they have the whole mountain and the mining and all that type of stuff like you do. Mm -hmm. in, in, like, it's like they took the best of Harvest Moon, the best of Stardew Valley, put it together, and like made it a thing. I, I enjoyed it, man. I, I love it. I really am, uh, you know, it's, it, and to me, it's, it's a very, and I said this in my review, I feel like it's a very companion to Animal Crossing. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're if you're if you're getting burned down on Animal Crossing, you could go play this for a little bit, and it'll kind of break up the monotony because yeah. it's simulator. It's enough to do. It's enough different stuff that it doesn't feel like Animal Crossing, but mm -hmm. it's you know it's it's a fun little game. So 
I enjoyed well, you know it, me. I'm, I'm jumping on everything but Animal Crossing. I got I my know. Dragon Quest Builders. I could go jump into this. Maybe try that out a little bit. <laughs> You're a mess. You're a Does mess. it have two save files, Bobby? Can you save, save two save There's files? Three. Game? Three save files. Oh, wow. So you, Link, and Chelsea can all play. That's how I like it. That's how I've liked my game since 1987, oh, man. Please stop it. <laughs> please stop it. Um, me and Holly were talking yesterday about actually going back and playing New Leaf. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, Why? Just, just because. You kind of forget because New Horizons is so different from New Leaf, yeah. That you kind of forget what New Leaf was all about. Mm-hmm. And to me, I be like I've I don't know if you've heard me say this, but I've said this. I feel like New Leaf is better than New Horizons. Yeah, yeah. I love New Horizons, but I feel like it's not a, it's not a complete game. Mm-hmm. There's still stuff missing from it that I loved, you know, in the Animal Crossing franchise. Yeah. Eventually, I think after the two-year plan of updates hits, this game will be better. But right now, it's not. You know what I mean? It's, mm-hmm. it's you know, it's just it's the drip feed that they do, um, and it's it's just it's lacking a little bit right now. Mm-hmm. Do you feel it like as you play it, you're like, man, I really wish that there was this other thing that feels like it's missing, or do you feel like you still like you still put in like how many hours are you putting in every day? I'm, I'm over 500 thing? hours already. I'm, I'm, My God, I'm putting in. Probably, I mean, a day, it's hard to say. I'm putting at least two hours a day in. Yeah. Um, you know, on the weekends, I'm probably putting six to eight, you know? Yeah. Um, it's just hard for me to reconcile that, like, that this is an incomplete game and that well, most people are at 700 hours or something. Because it's because you're, it's it's a fulfilling game. Mm-hmm. It's full. Yeah. But it's not complete. You know, you're missing things. You're missing, yeah. you know, you're missing the roost. You're missing... You know, different stores. You're missing like Leaf not there every day, where I can go buy shrubs every day. You know, mm-hmm. he was in New Leaf, where I could go. You know, like uh, retail's gone and it's not there, so it feels like man, mm-hmm. that's missing. And you know, Club LOL, where you know, and then they put they put <laughs> they put KK in front of the residence center, right? This this dude, this drives me bonkers. Like it's it's only an Animal Crossing issue. Yeah, um, KK normally comes Saturday nights. Mm-hmm. But when there's a fishing or a bug tournament, they put them. They were put them on Friday nights. Now they've moved them to Sat to Sundays, and it's like I fired up my town this morning, and there's KK, and I'm like, this is bull. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no, no, what? this is not okay with me. Why are you so upset? Because it's such a staple. Here's here's the crazy thing, Sean. KK slider coming Saturday nights. Yeah. And, and it's supposed to be 8 p.m. That's the other issue that I have. But I let that go because I figure they're trying to let kids. Kids normally go. Normal right. kids used to go to bed by 8 o'clock. So I guess they were trying to make it like, hey, let's move it to 6. Okay. Is that I, not true anymore? Do kids stay up too late now? I don't know. But They stay later than 8. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't have kids. I hope not. But, but the thing is, it's like. But the thing, <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, it's like. It's. So. It's always been a staple, so much a staple that when you play Smash on yeah. Saturday nights at eight o'clock, and you go to the you go to the Animal Crossing stage, there's KK Slider playing music for real. It, I swear to God, man, it's it's so it's such a staple in the series that that's the way it's always been. It bugs me to my core, mm-hmm. and it's such a it's such a Bobby problem. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean, like nobody else cares. <laughs> <laughs> but like it's we'll such it's such a Bobby problem, and it's like, just dude, put the dude someplace else. Like, stop this nonsense. Mm-hmm. Just, they did it just to see if you're paying attention. Just oh, I'm happens. paying attention. Like, it, it might it might be a troll actually, and it's working. It's oh, it's pissing me off. It's so bad. Oh, sorry, man. I'm I, really, I I don't want I don't want that to happen. And, and people are probably like, just grow up, you big baby. But it, you know, what? and they're <laughs> and you're right. You are right. You can call me a big baby. You're absolutely right. It's just. It just feels out of place. Yeah. You know, so. Well, if it ain't broke, like, why, why, fix, why change that at all? I don't all? know. I don't know. And plus, the Nintendo items aren't there. Like, there's mm-hmm. stuff that's missing that bothers me. You yeah. Know, certain so furniture series you're aren't it, there. you're getting enjoyment, and then you're like, yeah, but what about this thing? Yeah, about- man. And, and the thing but- is, is I feel like when the Nintendo items show up, dude, it's game, it's lights out. Mm-hmm. If they show up. It's that's like. That's the thing. You can't count out. on anything from Nintendo anymore. No. Like. Like the virtual console, most definitely isn't going to happen. Did you see that? Oh, that's done. You see the new games? Did you see the new games for Super Nintendo? You got your Donkey Kong and a couple others. Donkey Kong Country, I like. You know, yeah, but I the love other, that game. But the other two is just like, meh. 
Yeah. Uh, Does it seem like it just doesn't like that that news doesn't really like really pop anymore? No, it's because kind of like, because it went from hey we're going to give you three games a month to like hey we're going to give you three games whenever we want. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. we're not even gonna, we're just going to give you three games. We're going to give you one yeah. NES and two Super Nintendo, and it's like damn, you can't even give me six. You yeah. can't give me three and three. Like, dude, mm-hmm. come on, man. Yeah, I, it's I, not that's not not going so well. Yeah, for the that. virtual console, <laughs> the virtual console's gone. I blame I, I blame people like you. Oh really? <laughs> well, yeah, because during the switch, you were like, I don't want to pay for this stuff again. And I don't. And all, but there's a lot of people on your on your in your camp. They were yeah, like, we'll I don't want to. Where you can bring your games forward and stuff. Oh, stop it. We don't want to. We don't want to pay for this stuff again. We don't want to pay for this stuff again. And then I think Nintendo listened. They're like, okay, we can't charge again for this. It's so, like it's like a wish gone wrong. It's like when you get a genie and you're like, you got three wishes, and it always like the the stories always go like, I hope to be like forever, live forever, and yeah. then that's a terrible idea. Yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah. I hope to be the smartest man in the world, and it gives you like this giant head. Like yeah, yeah. those aren't the side effects that I wanted. I yeah, just wanted. Like, I just wanted. You know what I was saying? I know. I know. I, and to some degree, I was with you. To mm-hmm. another degree, I'm like, I don't care. I just want yeah. these games. I don't care if I have to buy them again. I'll buy them again. Whatever. I didn't think that they would ever take them away. Like, that's the thing that I just didn't expect was this uh, this virtual. Like, the Wii Virtual Console was so – it had everything. Yeah. Like, every game you could just go buy. And I just thought, like, if we could maybe bring those forward, that would be great. But it was different for the Wii U, and it just kept getting worse and worse. And it's like, holy, how did that – and the problem maybe people just didn't buy the games but like, I that think, has to be the thing. no i don't think that i don't think that's the case at all i think no. the problem is is the other problem was to be fair was you'd have this gigantic virtual console on the wii u or mm-hmm. we'll say the wii we'll use the wii you have this gigantic virtual console on the wii then the wii u starts and you think in theory that virtual console is just going to shift over here no no that's no no. Thing. we're going to start from scratch oh, yeah and now real. you're going to get three games Next yeah. week you get three games, and next week you get, and it's like, really? And like, of all those systems too, like Wii U desperately needed that, right? Oh, Where like we doubt. had and they had games coming out for everything else, like it was a giant success. You had actual good games, and then the Wii U was like, I mean, if you like first party stuff, great. But they could have, like, don't you think they could have saved it with an actual virtual console on the like they they could have at least partially saved it? I, I don't know. Think so. I think should have so. just carried on over. It's a lot of your games did though. You could go into Wii mode and then play it that way. Yeah, yeah, it's but pain though. Yeah, it's so it's such. I don't know, man. They're so <laughs> backwards in our. And uh, we're gonna go back to Animal Crossing for a minute, dude. They have made like I never felt like this game was. I never felt like Animal Crossing or Nintendo gave participation trophies, but this week. I learned absolutely <laughs> we're going to give participation trophies. Yeah. So they had the, they had the fishing tournament, right? Sure. And and I'll, I'll probably have to repeat this again for people on Nook Talk, but whatever. But so here's the thing, right? In previous fishing tournaments, like when you played on New Leaf, you'd start the day, the guy would show up, and it was like, hey, man, um, you're going to go out and you're going to catch the biggest bass, sea bass. You mm-hmm. go out, you try to catch the biggest, you take it to him, he tells you the size right. of it, whatever, right? And all day you're fishing trying to catch the biggest one in hopes that one of the villagers don't present one that's bigger. Right. And this one's different. This one is kind of like what they used to do on Tortimer's Island where it's a tournament. You have like three minutes to catch as many fish as you can and turn them in. And then when it's done, they give you a certain amount of points. Yeah. And then them points accumulate. And then there's tiers. So, like... If you accumulate 100 points, it's a bronze sta- statue. 200 points, it's a silver stat or trophy. Um, mm-hmm. 300 points or above, you get the gold. Sounds legit, right? You, you think, okay, no problem. Now what happens is if me and you want to share an island, our points get accumulated. So now, yeah. right, it's me and you working together to ch- tackle 300 points, which 300 points is a lot, so I get that. But, oh, no, no, Sean, you still didn't get the gold trophy. We're going to make it even easier for you. The tournament points that you accumulated last, like, two months ago, three months ago, mm-hmm. they carry over to this tournament. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. And I'm like, tournament. I'm like, what the hell is even happening here? So you're <laughs> telling me that I have a year, two years, three years to get gold trophies. When, yeah. meanwhile, when I played New Leaf, I had a room full of trophies that actually meant something that meant something because it felt Mm -hmm. like i earned all these gold trophies yeah 
you're te- like, what, are you serious? Oh, that sucks, man. Dude, it's I feel like it's such trash. Yeah. It's such, and then we won't even get to Nintendo Online. We won't even touch Nintendo Online. How come? Liter- dude, we literally had the community uh, is fantastic. Oh, no. The community yeah, yeah, yeah. is fantastic. They took it upon themselves to create a banner to do all this stuff. We're gonna have tournaments at three o'clock. You know, like one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. Every every o'clock there is, there's a different person <laughs> hosting the tournament. Wow. Right? Sign up where you want to sign up. People were signing up, right? And there were like eight people are gonna be at this island for this time to this time, and eight people are gonna be here for the and the person that catches the most fish in a in a productive like in a round mm-hmm. is gonna win a million bells. Yeah. Right. Damn, online kept crashing. Oh, that is like a perfect setup. Everybody, you get three people in, four people in, people are flying in, right? You get the third person, fourth person, boom, town crashes. They reopen the gates, <sighs> reissue dodo codes. Here comes one, yeah. here comes two, here comes three, boom, down. Yeah. All day long. Just enough of the BS. Mm-hmm. Fix your stuff. Like seriously, yeah. Go, I'm with you, man. go hire Microsoft to fix your stuff. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it seriously is. And 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 and, and I'm I'm not talking to you, Siri. So shut up. Um, it, she started started talking. <laughs> um, the thing yeah, is, is I turned that off. The thing is, is you know, I have always been in the camp of like, well, you know what, Mario Kart doesn't have any problems. Uh, Splatoon doesn't have any problems. Animal Crossing has problems. Yeah. It's bad enough it takes me five minutes, ten minutes to get everybody into the island. Mm-hmm. Then you don't work? How about yeah. this? How about this, Nintendo? How about you stop worrying about dumb glitches and, and, and patching them and worry about fixing your online infrastructure? Sounds fair I to mean, me. Th- that's the thing is that, that people kind of know that it isn't up to par or up to snuff with what Xbox has or some others. But, like... Those kind of events are going to do that, but no matter what, you're always going to refer back to, you know, you like the royalty. Like, we are always going to refer back to, like, well, Nintendo's online isn't all that great. And it's not like Xbox or PlayStation or anything else is perfect. Like, when you have giant things happen, it's hard to get into, like, a brand new game of Destiny or Call of Duty or whatever it is. But those things, those sorts of things get sorted out. What I would love to see from Nintendo is, like, this this concerted effort, this communication, this something that goes, like, we are improving it. And mm. there may be some sort of like almost like a placebo effect where people go like, yeah, it totally is better. And it's like actually no difference. But at least if they were to address the issue, I think that that would help to alleviate some of these things. But I think like with a with a tournament, like it, it just doesn't happen every week. I just think that everybody in their mom was going online I with mean, uh, with this fishing tournament. But let me tell you something, Sean. This is an everyday issue oh is it i mean it wasn't dude, just because that's what no, i'm wondering i mean it? like it takes for first off it takes forever to get everybody in yeah it literally no look i'm not becoming suddenly a nintendo no i'm not I, I definitely think it's a bit of a mess but i also think that there's a they're pre, like a uh it's reputation is yeah. bad so anything anything kind of happens like man they got a shitty online system yeah but i don't agree with that enough's yeah. enough enough well, i agree with that enough. We are we are at the point where and I listen. I'm sure people are going to be upset with me and get like, I defend Nintendo to the hilt. Mm-hmm. This is inexcusable mm-hmm. at this point. This is there is no excuse for this. Yeah, it's painful. Like fix your crap. Mm-hmm. Enough is enough. Like this is nonsense. And don't tell me it's free. Don't tell me that the price is so small. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Because yeah. originally I was with you when you said mm-hmm. the price was so small because they were giving you all these free Nintendo games. Well, they've backed that down now too. Yeah. So what am I getting for my twenty bucks? Well, I'm paying thirty five because I'm doing the family plan. Yeah. Same so I here. could so I could do multiple profiles playing online at once, which is another mm-hmm. nonsensical thing. Mm-hmm. My See, switch has the- my thing, and I have to sit there and pay for family plan so I can yeah. play from different profiles. It's on my switch. But it should be tied to, like, it's so, whatever. Look look what happens when they run out of games. We start focusing on everything else. I like, know, oh, that's a, a problem. Things, there's actually some problems here. That's <laughs> the problem. That's the problem. Like, a, yeah. game, a game like Animal Crossing. Here's the problem, Sean. A game like Animal Crossing, which you, you delve into, like, this is such a community game. 
Mm -hmm. You make the one community feature so difficult to work. And right. it shouldn't be. Yeah. It shouldn't take me three minutes to get to your island. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, three minutes times seven people. Yeah. 21 minutes? One at a time? Yes. Yes. That's not even an option. That's that's actually not. That's like that's like good half of my play session. <laughs> that's so So, so imagine imagine being and I'm I'm going to take the streaming aspect out of it. Imagine yeah. being where you guys you got a group of friends that want to get together. Yeah. And it takes take you, it, it takes you 21 minutes to that's file everybody in. And then all of a sudden communication error. Mm -hmm. And now yeah, only for it to not even work at the end. Now you got to do another 21 minutes to get everybody back in again. Mm -hmm. Communication error. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way it would do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's absolutely no way. No, I don't know. Fire up something else. Play, play uh, Tetris 99. I mean, you just play I mean, I got second place. But I, I probably would. I, I got second place in Tetris 99 oh last night. Oh my God. Did almost really? did it, man. I almost did I've it. never won one. Never won me, one. Me neither. I never have won. I get so nervous when I get you down there. Like, I get top 10 a couple times. Do you feel like that game is just unfairly rigged at some points? Sometimes. Sometimes it's like... A, like, dude, like I, see, I literally got 10. knocked out. The other day I was playing, right? Mm -hmm. And I got knocked out within two minutes. Yeah, somebody's got to be 99,000. Like, how is, how is somebody... Here's the thing that I don't understand about that game. How is somebody getting a Tetris... When only three <laughs> blocks have popped out, <laughs> you got to smash them down, man. You got to use that up, up, down, or whatever. Sean, it's called. I do. There's <laughs> I no, know, there's know. no I way, there's no way. After I have three blocks dropped, you're pulling together. Tetris's. Yeah, there's no way. Know, it's impossible. <laughs> it's it's obviously it's possible. not possible. This is che there's cheating going on. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the other online thing that's that's wrong. They they haven't addressed the online. They have a cheat. real issue with lag. That's another mm -hmm. problem. Because that's, mm. that's essentially what's happening. Mm -hmm. there, there, There's a lag situation where they're jumping ahead because, yeah. of the, you know, it's happened with Mario Kart, too. Hit somebody with a red shell. They literally just roll roll around a circle and they keep going. I'm like, whoa, what just <laughs> happened here? I hit this dude with a red shell. He never slowed down. Dude, Mario Kart has been put onto this earth to make sure that we don't live forever. It is meant to take years off of our life. Oh, it takes years friendships. off my life. Trust me. It, it it's, oh. a, it's a damaging thing. Really quickly before uh, I gotta go, because I got I actually like I got kids. I got things to do today. Please, uh, one of those please. things I gotta do today. You've been is waiting watch. for twenty something episodes to finally be the first one to leave. I've been I've been trying. And it's not happening. So I'll talk to you next week, buddy. See you later. <laughs> no way, no way. <laughs> what do you uh, Ubisoft thing is today? Do you think that we're gonna see anything on Nintendo side? Ubisoft's uh, Ubisoft Forward or whatever it is. Yeah, wouldn't it be cool if we saw Mario Rabbids too? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I would be. Uh, that would get me excited, honestly, mm -hmm. and that would probably take some time away from Animal Crossing. Yeah. What about it, Star Fox? Could you imagine? <laughs> wait, wait, no, I could. No, no, no. I, all seriousness. Could you imagine if they actually were working on a Star Fox game? Yeah, I could. I definitely at least like some sort of announcement because it wasn't Ooh. Starlink just last year. I think, I think it was just two years ago now. As, oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe that was just me and Lincoln playing. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, I think God. I think it was about two years ago now. Yeah. So maybe maybe an agreement has been reached because everybody Ooh. sees it. Like that was the that was the one. I mean, them guys are monsters, those those monsters. those two since Mario Rabbids. Those two have been really working very closely together in mm -hmm. terms of like mm -hmm. Nintendo is kind of giving them some keys. Yeah. Like, here you go. Go. We trust you now. Go yep. have fun. Yeah. And I mean, them giving them Star Fox. Like seriously. That game come. They announced that game the the one year. They announced that game the same year they announced Mario Rabbits. But the, Starlink, the, yeah. yeah. But Star Fox wasn't announced in it. They showed yeah, it off. Right. They showed that's right. And then the next year they come out and you hear you know Fox McCloud and stuff. And then it was like it's only coming. To Dude, the Switch. I remember that that music. It was like it was like some sort of like sound effect or just some a couple notes of the music. I'm like that sounded like Star Fox, but I felt like like way to go Nintendo fanboy. Just thinking that there's yeah. like Nintendo stuff everywhere else, and it's like. Turned out it was totally there. So I don't know, man. It'll be it'll be interesting to watch Ubisoft's in kind of hot water these days. So yeah. we'll we see if they address any of that kind of stuff. But I, I want to see it. I want to see some Nintendo. Stuff. I want to see Rayman as well. And that would be new that Rayman would game. be good. I would be all for a new Rayman game. Mm -hmm. I really would because that I tell you what, Rayman on the Switch. It was on the Wii U originally. Oh, so good. It is so good, so and good. I feel like Ubisoft is the one they've always supported Nintendo in a really, really big way. Yeah. They're going to be looking at a whole bunch of stuff coming out on PS5 and Xbox Series X and stuff, but they're going to have stuff for Switch. 
Mm. Like, more than Nintendo, even. Mm. So between, like, Devolver Digital, which, by the way, you should watch because, uh, like, the CEO person who does, like, who leads the whole thing, she's like, I'm bringing out somebody who has all the secrets. Here is my uncle who works at Nintendo. And it's this guy they who's like... So... It is so good. He, he reveals this game and he talk. He says all this trash about Princess Toads doing all this stuff. You gotta watch it, man. It was actually incredible. So the Devolver Digital's thing, polished, looked great. I expect the same from Ubisoft today. We'll actually get some good games. And it's like, and this is a knock against Xbox, PlayStation, and and Nintendo. Like, get your houses in order. I mean, even even EA, even EA. As much as I'm not a fan of EA, they yeah, had their stuff good. together. Yeah, like, looked pretty it's, good. It's not that hard. It's not impossible. We don't need no. Jeff Keighley sitting in his living room on a webcam. Although, dude, even on the Devolver Digital, there was uh, one of the one of the presenters was like fawning over Jeff Keighley. She's just looking over. I'm just like, you're so handsome. Like it was so good. <laughs> good lord. I All right, anyway, Sean. Man, I'm I out. gotta go. See you yeah, later. I'm, Bye. See you, man. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for listening to A Cup of Joe and Nintendo, a production of the You, Me, and Capri Patreon. If you like the show, you can support them at patreon.com, you, me, Capri. A Cup of Joe and Nintendo is available on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and all of your other podcast services. Be sure to follow Bobby and Nintendo Gurus on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. For everything that Sean does on the internet, follow him on Twitter, at Sean Capri. Sean like Connery, Capri like the pants. Also, twitch.tv Sean Capri. That is all. Peace out, Preston.